11, 11 on the clock. Breast cancer remains the second leading cause of cancer deaths for women in America. The United States Preventative Services Task Force has just come out with new recommendations for breast cancer screenings. For more details on breast cancer and how to detect or even prevent it, we are joined by our medical expert, Dr. David Winter. Good morning to you, Dr. Winter. What changes in breast cancer screenings are being recommended? Yeah, the original recommendations, we start at age 50, but the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force has changed that. They say we want to start at age 40 and get a mammogram every other year up until age 75. Now, the American Cancer Society has a different recommendation. They say at age 40 to 45, you ought to consider getting a mammogram every year. Age 45 to 55, definitely every year. And age 55 and on, every year or every other year from then on. So kind of confusing, but important to get mammograms, late stage breast cancer is deadly. The survival rate is like less than 20%. Early stage breast cancer, 90% cure rate. So important to get mammograms when you can find the breast cancer early. Absolutely. Are there different recommendations, by the way, for women who are at higher risk of getting breast cancer? Well, there are in fact, if there's breast cancer in your family, especially in younger women in your family, that's a risk factor. If you've had radiation therapy to your chest for Hodgkin's lymphoma, for example, that's a risk factor. If you have genetic tendencies, the BRCA1, BRCA gene, primarily the ones we talk about, all those would, talk, would get you to talk to your doctor early about other recommendations for more frequent screenings, actually. What other conditions, Dr. Winter, might increase the chances of women getting breast cancer? Well, in addition to those three, it's obesity, heavy alcohol consumption, early menopause, or late menopause, rather, after age 50, early menstrual cycles, age 12 or less, first child, age 40, or greater than that. If you're on hormone therapy, particularly in high doses, that's a risk factor. And also dense breast mammograms, any of those might change the recommendation to get your mammogram done more frequently.